everybody. It's Simone from POAC here. And thank you so much for joining us live today and for our very first music program, online music program. And we're so excited to have Mr. Jim with us. Mr. Jim from Key of Awesome Music, which is um, a great program. And we're going to be doing this every Wednesday at this time. So we hope you can join us for some great music and some great activity here. And um, definitely go to poac.net and see all the other activities and events we're having. We're moving everything online. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you the, leave you in the capable hands of Mr. Jim. And let's rock and roll, thanks. Hey everybody, good to see you. Hope you're doing well, staying happy, healthy, and safe during this time. Uh, that's the best we can do, right? It's a, so why don't, we, why don't we get together and, and sing some, sing some fun songs. And uh, the, the idea today, just to give you a heads up, if you haven't seen me in a while, um, maybe Victor's checking in, maybe Tanner, who knows? Uh, Brandon, anybody say, saying hello uh, for anybody who's out there. Um, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna pick apart a song today, the lyrics talk about it a little bit and sing through it and try to learn it. And I actually have a printout of it too, so I'll kind of put it up to the screen. Uh, maybe you'll be able to see it. Maybe it's upside down or backwards, who knows? We're going to do some silly vocal warm-ups like we usually do. If you, you ever see us in person at the, the Lutheran church that we go to in Hamilton. And, and then we'll, we'll sing through that song, some of the lyrics. And we'll play along with our instruments, right? So if you have an instrument at home, go grab it. Yeah, got an egg shaker, maybe a, a tambourine or a maraca, right? Those are some very simple instruments to have. Or maybe you have a harmonica or a kazoo or a guitar or maybe a ukulele. If you're going to grab it and jam with us. So first things first, we're going to get warmed up. So what we do with vocal warm-ups, right, is we stretch out our voice. The same thing you do when you work out. You don't you want to make sure you stretch your body out so you don't pull a muscle. We want to do the same thing with our voices so we don't hurt our throats at all. So let's try doing the silly vocal warm-up. And we've done it before, but it's nice to kind of practice it. It's Mommy Made Me Mash My M&Ms. That's silly. That's a lot of mmm, a lot of M's right there, right? But it's basically a tongue twister, like Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers or Sally sells seashells by the seashore. So let's try Mommy Made Me Mash My M&Ms. And we're going to try putting a musical note behind it. All of those musical notes. So you see what I'm doing right there? So instead of just saying, Mommy made me mash my m ms that's all one note, right? We're going to move it up and have it be something like, Mommy made me mash my m ms And why are we doing this? Because it's silly. And also because it warms up our voices and it gets us to really speak clearly. So when you say something that's got a lot of the same letter in it, we have to think about what we're saying. And that's exactly what we were going to do with these lyrics too later is we're going to actually think about what we're saying instead of just saying it for the sake of saying it. And there's a meaning behind everything, right? And so let's try doing this. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms, right? And we move it up and then get it really high to a point where we almost sound like we're a Mickey Mouse. So here we go. Try this with me. And uh, let's do it. Count of three. We'll do mommy, maybe mash my M&Ms and go up a little bit higher each time. I'm just playing all the notes we're going to try to get to. Okay. One, two, three. Do it with me. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. Nice. That's a really silly thing to say. <laughs> Isn't it? It's a little silly, right? Let's say the same words, just a little bit higher in our voice range. And sometimes to help me sing higher, I kind of point my neck up a little bit like I'm facing towards the ceiling or the sky. That helps me kind of open things up in my throat. So let's try the same words. Just a little bit higher on the count of three. One, two, three, help me out. Mommy made me bash my m and Very cool. Let's do the same words, just a little bit higher in our voice range. We're going to try to sing these notes now. Count of three. Help me out. Same words, just a little bit higher. One, two, three. Mommy, baby, mash my All right. Now we're going to go even higher. This is the last one. Then we're going to do a couple other vocal warm-ups to get us stretched out. Those are the notes we're going to sing. Let's say the same words, just a little bit higher. Maybe we go into our first little voice like Mickey Mouse. On the count of three, help me out. One, two, three. Oh, me, 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 
Very cool. Nice job. We started low, ended high. We're going to do something similar next. So we're going to try to pretend like we're throwing a musical note off of a cliff. A pretend one, so nothing in our hands. If we have an instrument in our hands, let's put them down now. And we will just use our hands to pretend to throw a musical note like it's going off a cliff. And we're going to try going, woo! And as our hand moves closer to the ground, we're going to try to make our voice get lower, okay? And then we're going to do the reverse, like you're on a roller coaster. And go from low to high, like that. It's a fun little thing to stretch out the, the different really far ranges of our voice, the, the kind of end of the spectrum, really, really high to really, really low, right? Gets the whole range in there. So let's try it on the count of three. You can even pretend like you're having an imaginary ball in your hand and pretend to throw it, right? And as the ball kind of goes and sinks to the ground, we're going to make our voice get lower. Here we go. Count of three. One, two, three, high to low. Woo! All right. All right. Next one. Low to high, right? Count to three. One, two, three. Three, uh, ah, right? Just like we're on a roller coaster. That stretches things out a little bit more. Last one, I promise, vocal warm up before we kind of start getting into singing a fun song and then we're gonna dissect a song about friends after that, all right? Kind of talk about it a little bit. So let's do, let's do this last warm up that I like to call the musical alphabet. Now, the regular alphabet is what? A to Z, right? The musical alphabet is A to G. There is no such thing as an H note or a Z note or a Q note or any of those other letters of the alphabet in the musical alphabet. The musical alphabet is just A to G and then back to A again. Kind of think of it like a clock. You see a 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. With music, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, just like that on repeat, right? Try singing these these musical notes. All I'm gonna do is say A, but we're gonna do a musical note behind it, like A. This is the A chord, and then we're gonna go higher to B, and then C, C, D, F, G. So we're gonna go all the way up. We're gonna start slow and see if we can go up a little bit more each time. All right, here we go. Count of three: one, two, three. Sing A with me. Try it with me. A. Right there, very cool. How about B? B goes a little bit higher, right? C is gonna go even higher than that. Let's try C. C. How about D? D. All right, how about E now? E. How about F? F. Now go really high in the sky with it. G. Right? Oh my goodness, cool. I think we're pretty warmed up to really get getting into our first song that we're going to sing before we get into the one we're going to break apart the lyrics with. Let's do, let's do uh, a one, one last little thing where we get to sort of shake things out. Okay. What I wanted to do is just pick one note. Could be any note. Could be here, 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 or here. Any of those notes. I'm going to pick G. I'm going to shake my head back and forth when I do it. This stretch is kind of Gets, shakes all the cobwebs out here. Gets our cheeks moving. Gets our maybe our nose and our mouth moving. Our whole face, because this is what we do when we sing, right? We warm everything up. All right, so let's try picking a musical note, anyone you want. And we're gonna go and just shake it back and forth with me. It shakes everything out, we shake the cobwebs out, then we're gonna get right into a song. All right, here we go. Count of three, take a deep breath, and then we're gonna shake it out. One, two, three, deep breath. And then shake it out with me. That's silly, right? But it stretches everything out. Cool. All right, let's get jamming. Feel free to pick up your instrument again. If you have a tambourine, a maraca, an egg shaker, a kazoo, a harmonica, a guitar, or any other fun thing like a bongo or a drumstick that you can use. Let's sing this one song first as sort of a warm up. It's a little medley. We're going to put two songs in one. You're going to know these two songs. A medley is when you put two songs together and you sing them at the same time. It's kind of like a musical sandwich. Who likes peanut butter and jelly? I know I do. So if you can do a layer of bread, peanut butter, jelly, and then another layer of bread, that's a lot of ingredients and they're all different layers. You put them all together and you eat it, right? Well, the music. If you put one song, you take another song, maybe you take a third one, you put them all together and you sing it, 
that's a medley. So it's like a musical medley, like a musical sandwich, right? All right, so let's sing. We're gonna do You Are My Sunshine and This Little Light of Mine on the count of four, because music's based off the number four. Here we go, one, a two, a one, two, three, four. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Make me happy when skies are gray. Never know, dear, how much I love you. my sunshine away. One more time. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Make me happy when skies are gray. Never know, dear, how much I love you. Oh, take my sunshine away. Let's add the other song in here. This little light. This little light of mine. I won't let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine, 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 let it shine. Very nice. Thanks for jamming with me. I see that Tiff and Erica have come in here. So, hey, Victor, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Tanner, what's up, man? Oh, well, we're going to have to do Victor's song now. Let's do Victor's song really quickly because I know he really likes this one. Johnny, be good. But this time, maybe we'll say Victor, be good or Mr. Jim, be good. How about that? Let's do it. I know you like that song a lot. And then we'll get into doing that other song we were talking about here. where we're going to talk about friends. I know we really like that song. This little light of mine, you are my sunshine. And we're going to grab our instruments again. If you still have them in your hand, one of these, have some fun with it. We'll do Johnny, be good. Maybe we'll change the words. checking in here super cool and amy all right hey andrew a lot of people chiming in i'm uh, mr jim Woo! we know we have fun so thank you for joining me with those couple songs there we did a medley that's when you put more than one song together at the same time like a musical sandwich we did a bunch of vocal warm-ups we are really warm and we are really going right now so in an effort to do something a little bit different i wanted to break apart this song so hopefully you're, a, you're, you're at home and you're having fun with your family and your, maybe if you have any friends that are maybe across the street and you do your appropriate social distancing. Um, friends and family can be, for their, us, be there for us at, at times like this, right? And so I thought we would talk about a song from Toy Story. We talk about the lyrics a little bit, just a little bit, and, and maybe we try to learn it really quickly and we try to sing it. Um, we, I know we know the chorus. Uh, which is this song from Toy Story called You've Got a Friend in Me. Now, I'm not sure if you might be able to see that. It might be, there you go, right? You've got a friend in me. So these are the lyrics. I'm not sure if you're up to the screen and you can see this, but I'm gonna leave it up here for a little bit and then maybe not cover my face, but just kind of be to the side here. If we could do You've Got a Friend in Me, right? So look at the top two lines, simple enough. All they say is You've Got a Friend in Me, twice. Easy enough, right? 
So who is maybe your friend? Somebody in your life that you care about? Somebody you like to hang out with, do fun things with? When the road looks rough ahead, whew, that's not just like the road actually looking rough, literally with like maybe dirt and rocks all over the place, but kind of like a metaphor for life sometimes. It can be hard and uncertain and windy. And sometimes you go back, sometimes there's a detour. Sometimes you gotta go around the jug handle, right? It's not always the straight and narrow path. That's kind of what they're talking about here. And your miles and miles, whoa, miles is a long way, right? Miles, 5,280 feet, that's a lot of feet. <laughs> But miles and miles from your nice warm bed. Ooh, isn't it something nice to be around your nice cozy warm bed at night? You're safe and sound and warm with people that care about you, right? You just remember what your old pal said. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. That's really cool, right? It's pretty neat stuff when you think about it. So I'm going to fold up the sheet here, and we're going to go into the second verse, right? Which is the same sort of thing. You've got a friend in me, and it happens twice, right? So you've got a friend in me happens twice. Right? You got a friend of Mr. Jim. You got troubles? I got them too, right? You know, sometimes things are hard and they're not, they're, they're tricky. They're a little difficult. That's okay. You know, you, you, it's, sometimes it's, it's things in life are challenging, but you know, you have people that care about you, like your friends that maybe help you out, ask them for help. Say, but you know, I need some help with this. That's okay to ask for help. It's a good thing. That's how you learn, right? So, there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. Ooh, that's a great line. That's basically saying, you're my best friend. I'll be there for you through thick and thin. Call me whenever you want. Let's talk. I'll be there for to, to listen and, and maybe even get something for you if, if need be, if, if that's possible. We stick together and we see it through. That's awesome. It's like two peas in a pod sort of thing, right? Because you've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Now, I really like this next part. This next part, I'm going to fold the sheet up, is actually called a bridge. Now, it's not a bridge that you drive over. <laughs> It's a little bit different. It's what, it what, sort of the part of the song that comes after the second chorus most of the time. And it's sort of a different section. It sometimes changes musically. Sometimes it changes tempo. Gives another kind of feel to the song for a little bit. So some other folks might be a little smarter than I am. Ah, no big deal, right? Everybody has their own gifts, talents, and abilities, right? Bigger and stronger too. Yeah, that's okay. It's good to be strong and big up here in our minds, right? Maybe, but none of them will ever love you the way I do. That's amazing. Maybe you have somebody in your life like that. Maybe it's mom, dad. Maybe it's a grandparent. Maybe it's a cousin, an uncle. Who knows? Right? So the last verse, I love this one. As the years go by, our friendship will never die. That's someone being a friend with you for your whole life. That's amazing. That's hard to have. Not an easy thing to accomplish. But when it does, it's pretty amazing. You're going to see it's our destiny. You've got a friend in me. So they say you've got a friend in me a lot in this song, right? So let's have a practice through it. I'm going to take my guitar out again. Good stuff reading through that. I wanted to make sure we went through that a little bit. Hey, David, what's going on? All right, Andrew, a few people checking in. This is really cool. Appreciate it. Thanks for letting me come here. We're going to do You've Got a Friend in Me because you've got a friend in Mr. Jim. So let's sing this song. Maybe we think of Woody, Buzz Lightyear. Who knows, right? Because it's from Toy Story. So let's sing it. Let's use our instruments. It's got kind of a beat that goes like this. It's like, you've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Right, so that's our rhythm. So if you take your instrument, maybe you play something like that. One, two, one, two, three, four. Some of 
other folks might be a little smarter. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I can. Bigger and stronger too. Alright, none of them will ever love you. None of them ever love you. Hey, I do you care. It's me and you, boy or girl. And as the years go by, a friendship will never die. We're gonna see it's our destiny. It's not destiny, boy. You've got a friend to me. Same words. You've got a friend to me. Last one. You've got a friend to me. All right, good stuff. So we'll put the guitar down for a second. Good job jamming on that. You've got a friend in me, right? So let's look at the lyrics one more time. Let's see if we can really internalize it here, right? They say, you've got a friend in me a lot in this song, right? A lot. When the road looks rough ahead, and if you're miles and miles from your nice warm bay, you just remember what your old pal said, boy, you've got a friend in me, right? You've got a friend in me. And then we fold it over again. You've got a friend in me once again. You got a friend in me. You got troubles, I got them too. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. We stick together and we see it through because you've got a friend in me. And they say the same, say that a lot in this song, right? Hey, Matilda and Jack, thanks for checking in. All right. But, right, some people, some other folks might be a little smarter than I am. Bigger and stronger, too. Maybe. But none of them will ever love you the way I do. It's me and you, boy. And I like to add girl in there, too, right? As the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're going to see it's our destiny. You've got a friend in me. So hopefully you have a friend, and I'm sure you do have friends in your life that you can depend on and call on and hang out with and Help you through times, right? Good, bad, everything. Beautiful thing to have good friends, isn't it? All right, so thank you so much. We're gonna, I'm gonna use the guitar now like a percussion instrument. What? How can I do that? Well, it's easy. You just do something like that with it, right? So we're gonna do a song that I know we really like, and uh, we're gonna get into counting to the number three, right? So the number three on your instrument, maybe you have an egg shaker, a tambourine, or a maraca like we talked about. I'm gonna take my three egg shakers now and do a little fun thing before we start using them if you want. Check this out. Whoa, juggling, right? Very cool, different, something different you could do with egg shakers. Oh, we're gonna play this on the count of three. If you have a, yes, kazoo. <laughs> Gotta love the kazoo, yes, we've used it a little bit. So we're gonna do, to the number three over and over again. That's what this song calls for. It just calls for the number three. And we know this one, it's from Queen. We've done it on occasion. So let's sing, we will rock you, right? So if you wanna help me with the words, you can. If not, we can just play along with our instrument like that. So it's like a one, two, three, right? One, two, three, again, one, two, three. One more time, one, two, three, let's sing it. We will, we will rock you. Same words again. We will, we will rock you. Right? First verse. Body of a boy or a thing I seen in the street. Gonna make a big fan someday. You got blood on your face. Your big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place. Singing, we will, we will rock you. Remember to the number three over and over. We will, we will rock you. All right, a body of a small man, poor man, getting with your eyes, gonna make you some peace someday. You got blood on your face, your big disgrace, waving your banner all over the place. Singing, we will, we will rock you. Right, number three, over and over. We will, we will rock you. Two more times with the we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. All right, last we will rock you here. We will, we will rock you. Let's keep it going though. We're gonna do a one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's all we do, right? One, two, three. Over and over. It's really easy. One, two, three. Nice job, guys. I like that a lot. Thanks for checking in on that. Very cool. Here's another fun percussion activity that you could do really quickly. And you can even do this at home by yourself. Uh, so interesting, right? Maybe we're gonna use this maraca and this, the egg shaker, right? 
And we're gonna alternate between the two. So what I'm gonna do with the egg shaker is I'm gonna play a rhythm. And as I copy it, I'm gonna copy it with the maraca. So when I play the egg shaker, that's gonna be your cue to just listen, okay? When I play the egg shaker, that's for you to listen for what we're doing. When I play the maraca, that's gonna be your cue to come in and play, okay? So egg shaker first and then maraca, right? Then it's your turn to play with the maraca. My turn with the egg shaker, your turn with the maraca. Sound good? All right, so if I play a rhythm, it's an easy rhythm, it's gonna go like this. So that's just me playing, right? No one should have played, they're just me. I know it's hard to wait, but this is the, how it's gonna work, how it can work best. Is if we try one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and what does that sound like? That sounds like this, right? Like, hello, somebody at the door? Oh boy. So remember, I play this first, and then we're gonna do maraca is when you play. So I'm gonna do it again one more time with the egg shaker, then right afterwards I'm gonna play with the maraca, and that's gonna be your cue to come in when I play the maraca. Here we go. First time listen, then come in, echo it right with me with the maraca. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, play now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, my turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, your turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, my turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, your turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Nice job on that. We're gonna do one more rhythm. One more rhythm with this. For the egg shaker, you play it. I play the egg shaker first and you just listen, right? And then when I play the maraca, that's when you play, okay? So listen to the rhythm first, then we're gonna do it together with the egg with the uh, maraca, okay? Egg shaker first for me, maraca for you, all right? Egg shaker. Listen first, remember, listen first. We can do it one more time, see if you can figure out what it is. Hmm. Maybe you guessed it. It's the Kit Kat theme song, right? Give me a break, give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna do it again first. So if, if you lose track, we're gonna play four, four, seven, three. That is the number, the code that unlocks this rhythm. Four, four, seven, three. So what that means is me going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. All the pauses, okay? My turn again, and then we're gonna come in for a couple times with your, your instrument when I play the maraca. Ready? First time, my turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Your turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. My turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Your turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Awesome. Good stuff. I can't believe it, guys. We're at our last song. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be doing the same thing next week, same POAC time, same POAC place, and we're going to be rocking and rolling again. Jamming and Mr. Jim Studio, 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday afternoons. Let's do this last song. I know we like this one, right? Every day can be the best day, right? If you have the right attitude, and I know we do. Help me out, and I know you know it.
checking in remember same poac time same poac place next week 2 30 p.m on wednesday thank you so much for jamming with me have a good one guys bye bye